Hey guys, it's your girl, Luscious Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? The only thing I'm gonna do is show you the products that I picked up in the holiday sets from Sephora, and I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera. That way it won't be so long, and that way it won't be as boring, and you guys can just see the main products that you're here to see, basically. So, I know a lot of you guys are curious about the Frisali set. So, you do get four Frisali um, skin goals or skin primers, whatever you want to call them. So, you do get four in the little set. I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing the full size of the Skin Tune. Now, if you don't have large pores like I do, you might find this kind of um, filtering for you. Maybe your skin is really nice and, you know, you don't really need that much to cover. This might work for you, so you could try it. That's why it's nice to try these because they're really small and then you can just see if you do want to purchase the full size, you have that option. But for me, this one is a pass and I'm not going to use this one today because, like I said, if you want to see me using this, just check out my um, last Get Ready With Me. I think I did it on Tuesday, so I will link that video for you and also at the end of the video, there will be a card. So just check that one out. I'm not going to be using this. I will show you like they do have like um, droppers. So you just kind of squeeze it, squeeze the tube and then it does have a dropper. And also, they sm all four of them smell very differently. Now, the green one, that's supposed to be like a uh, filter or smoothing, smoothing basically for your pores. This one smells very pleasant. Um, it, and it has like a white, uh, creamy-like texture. It's very lightweight, though. Um, so, that's what that one is like. Um, the other one I want to talk about is this purple one right here, and it is called the uh, Unicorn, I think it says Unicorn Essence, no, I don't have my glasses, but I'm pretty sure, it, I know it says Unicorn, I think it says Unicorn Essence, so it's in this little purple one. Now, this one, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like it. I know the smell is very pleasant. It smells very like kind of like candy a little bit it smells a little sweet and also it has like a pinkish purple color to the gel or the primer and so I just really love it. it has like a sweet candy smell so I really like the way this one smells these two right here um this one is the volcanic elixir this one smells horrible. I will let you guys know that straight up. I don't know if you ever tried it. It does look like a uh, kind of like olive oil. And then this one I believe is supposed to be really hydrating. And this one is called the Rose Gold Elixir. This one doesn't smell as bad as the volcanic one. I'm just going to drop like two drops of the Rose Gold one. Um, I'll put it on this side. Oh wow, this feels really nice on my skin. Um, if you have dry skin or combo, I have combo skin, um, that feels really, really, really good on the skin. Let me try the other one. The rose gold on this side and this one is the volcanic elixir, but this one smells so bad, guys. So I'm gonna put two drops. Sometimes I do get a little dry around my nose. So I do have combo skin. It just feels really nice. So, as far as, like I said, this one right here, I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't feel like it, it uh, blurs my pores or anything. Um, I didn't really see a big difference in the unicorn one. It just smells like candy, so it smells nice. But if I had to pick between the rose gold or the volca volcanic, I would buy the rose gold um, elixir because it smells prettier than this one. This one really, really stinks. I'm not even kidding. But it does make the skin feel like a baby's butt, like really soft. So if you're into that kind of thing, you might want to try one of the elixirs. So I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup, come back, and we're going to play with some more products from my 
Sephora holiday set. So I just pulled out the Tarte little, it's like a three set. So let's try this bronzer out. I'm gonna use it, I think I'm just gonna use it as a contour. Um, and probably use my shimmer bronzer all over the face because I just, I'm trying to go through it. It's in my project pan. And this bronzer is really, really pretty. It's a really like neutral, just a neutral bronzer. Um, so I don't have any complaints about it. It's just a, a light bronzer. I feel like if you're a lot darker than me, this bronzer may be too, um, too light for you. But that's what it looks like. It's just a very, very light, uh, neutral bronzer neutral bronzer now we're gonna do blush I don't know if I told you this one is called the peppermint mocha the one with the bronzer in it is peppermint mocha this one that I really love for blush is called mistletoe I'm gonna use that one for blush and the one I'm not using is actually called it says frosty sleigh bells so this is the one I'm giving away um, but yeah so I'm gonna use Mistletoe for the blush. I just really love a good pink blush. This one's pretty as well. I think in my last Get Ready With Me, I mixed them, but I think I might go for the pink today because I love pink, pink blush. So, so pretty. All right, so we're gonna do the pink one. So, super pretty. I love a good pop of color on the cheeks. I feel like it makes you look super, super youthful. I say this all the time. I know some people are not blush people. I'm a blush person. Um, I, I just feel when I put my blush on, I feel 10, 10 years younger. I don't know why that is. It just, just makes me feel younger. So I love my blush. I am gonna use the Fenty Highlight. This is part of the, um, holiday set and this is in sand castle oh my gosh this is so pretty you guys it is so pretty it's just such a buttery creamy formula i can't even explain how creamy it is it's just ah uh, so pretty so i'm going to use this highlight i don't want to get too crazy with my highlight because i am going to the doctor today it's like an eco tools it's actually an eyeshadow brush but it just looks um just kind of as perfect just for a little bit and i do kind of like to make this weird face so Normally, I would probably spray my face with my Frisali spray. It gives it a little bit of a shine, and it makes your highlight stick, but this is very, very pigmented highlight. You really don't really need that. It's just beautiful. I mean, honestly, like I said, it's one of the prettiest highlights I've seen in a long time. So, it's very blinding though. So, if you don't like it, like I have texture. You could probably see the texture on my cheeks. But I don't care. It's too pretty to care. So, I just wanted to show you how pigmented the highlight is. It's really, really beautiful. Alright, so, now I am going to, um, I really want to use this deep, vampy lip. I love a good vamp lip. I need to do a, something to my eyes. It's gonna be pretty simple today. I don't really feel like doing too much crazy stuff to my eyes. So I'm gonna go off camera and do something to my eyes. Okay guys, I just got through doing my eye makeup. I said I was gonna do very natural, but I kinda went a little ham with, um, if you wanna know what palette I'm wearing on my eyes today, I've kinda been um, really enjoying this palette right here. I just did a get ready with me on Tuesday, so I'll link that video for you guys to check out. But I did um, a little bit darker look today. So, yeah, this is the Too Faced Hot Butter Rum Palette. It's only $25. And I used this color right here, which they don't have names, but I used this, like, burgundy color right here. And then, basically, I used this uh, kind of light brown as a transition shade. 
and then I used that for a crease and I just kind of blew it out and then I took this burgundy shade up under my eyes. I couldn't decide which shimmer so I just put that um the lightest one on the like up in the inner corner. I put this like champagne color on kind of the middle and then this golden color more towards the, the um, outer. So I used all the shimmers in the palette and I used two of the mattes this time. But yeah, this is a really good palette. If you're thinking about picking it up, I would highly recommend it. I like it. I've been enjoying it. This is my second time to play with it. Um, but so now we're gonna uh, use the Fenty. This is like really dark. It's called, um, what is it called? I was gonna say it's called Hot Dog. It's not called Hot Dog. It's called something dog. Like D-A-W-G, something dog, but I can't remember. And I don't have my glasses on, and I'm not going to get them, so I'm sorry. I'll have these products linked for you guys, okay? Um, this is super dark, so we're just going to have to kind of go a little bit at a time. I know I look ridiculous right now, but uh, it's super pigmented. And like I said, it's kind of storming at my house, so if you hear any kind of noises, it is very early in the morning, and it's storming. Now I gotta do my lip liner. Sometimes with dark lips, I'll do my lip liner last. I just feel like it blends better. So this lip liner is by MAC, and it's called Chestnut. I actually love, love, love this color for fall and also for the holidays. I think it is really pretty. I am hoping to buy a green dress for the holidays. Mm. I love like green on me for some reason. Um, when I have like holidays and stuff like that, I, I feel like every holiday, like my Mother's Day, birthday, um, when I went to a concert, I always buy olive green. And it just like, I don't know, it just really looks good with my skin tone and my hair color. So, I'm thinking about this year for Christmas getting like a holiday dress that's like olive green. And wearing like lip a lip color like this probably. Last thing, so that was pretty much everything except I didn't play with the Charlotte Tilbury lip lipsticks. But I did swatch them for you guys last time. And also... This lip gloss is by um, Fenty. It's the lip lip, lip gloss balm. Um, but now I want to show you guys this product that I picked up, and I'm excited about this. This is um, Sephora Favorites. I have bought two Sephora Favorites um, this year. I bought. I'll link the other one if you guys haven't seen it, but. I did buy another Sephora favorites, and I did do like a get ready with me using those products as well. But these are the Extend Your Style Sephora favorites. They're, it's all dry shampoos, so you get five dry shampoos in the little set. Um, and so I'm really excited. I did just wash my hair, so honestly I don't need it. But I want to try the um, dry bar. Um, a friend of mine here on YouTube, well, she's not on YouTube, but she is a subscriber friend, and she told me that this dry bar one was really, really good. So, I trust all her um, opinions. We kind of like the same things. Oh, my God. That smells amazing. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That smells really good. I'm going to take a little bit myself a little bit of body I guess um I might have to get like a full size of that one because that one smells like really really bomb it smells so freaking like it smells almost like a perfume it's just so clean I've never tried dry bar dry bar before but this is the detox dry shampoo you guys can see that I am super stoked for this little set, you guys. But, but yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you enjoyed me playing with these new um, makeup products from Sephora, Sephora Favorites, and the Holiday Collection, please give me a big thumbs up. It will let me know that you enjoyed this video and that you like my new setup here. So those are my two cents on everything. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.